to another vlog you guys just saw me moving to my new apartment i'm very excited i love 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 this place like i'm in love um it's completely furnished so i didn't have to do any furnishing um my furniture is still in storage as well as a bunch of all my stuff i need to go and pick them up from storage but so far so good i love the house i've just arranged my stuff in the wardrobe laid the beds with the sheets that came with the house i need to get my sheets as well from storage and what else have i done um i still have the kitchen part i had a few things that i was eating just a few groceries not too much that's why i didn't even film it but essentially i've just chucked them in the cupboard um do you guys want a house tour let me know um i don't know i'm not too keen i feel like you guys saw it in my previous vlog where i talked about house hunting i eventually settled for this one because of how beautiful the house looks and guys like seriously i have like a walk-in closet situation which is so 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 cool okay <laughs> but yeah that's it guys i'm really really tired um <clears throat> go back from reading came here oh, oh my god guys you guys have you seen that reading vlog make sure to check it out it'll be linked in the description and up here in the cards reading was nice but towards the end like the hotel i would not recommend that hotel at all the market house in reading aesthetically it looks really nice like the decor like i said very eclectic very very chic but the service the whole shebang was a no-no um there was no food on sunday evening when i went down they closed by four i'm like you have hotel guests like why is your restaurant closing by four it didn't make any sense um when we checked out obi actually forgot his shoes we went back and we we're like they didn't see any shoe i'm just like you guys like it wasn't up to a full day that we left like we literally left got here realized we have forgotten it called them they didn't actually even pick up we actually actually go back go back to reading went there and they didn't even allow us to go into the room they're like oh they've cleaned the room and they didn't see any shoe and the most they would do for us is they'll go and snap the room they'll go and snap a picture of the room and come and show us the whole thing was just a mess like it was just irritating and i was like for this alone I will give them a bad review like that place no it's just too rowdy and there was also a bunch of ugly situations that went that like went down for example <clears throat> the alarm kept going off like the fire alarm in the middle of the night like i couldn't sleep because of it like it would go off we didn't know if it was a true alarm or if it was a false alarm I had to actually leave the room a number of times before they actually came tell us that oh it's false alarm and that this stuff is faulty the next day i was in the middle of a meeting and this thing just kept going off i was just like yo <laughs> this is the ghetto a very pretty ghetto well, anyway enough of all that negativity we need positive vibes here i've come down with something like a flu i don't know what it is but guys i've been coughing and from time to time i've been feeling feverish hopefully i feel fine by tomorrow i think i just really need to rest 
um but if i do feel fine there's actually the chelsea flower show going on in london tomorrow is the last day to see it so i'm hoping really really hoping that i feel like myself tomorrow and then we're gonna go and see some lovely flower exhibitions um but yeah that's it guys that's that's about it <laughs> guys <laughs> i'm sure you guys just saw that little accident i had while trying to open the curtains hope you guys can see me properly let me back a little bit how are you guys doing oh, guys it is a new amazing amazing day <coughs> yes i see i was going to cough today is tuesday um i know the last time i spoke to you guys it was to be honest i don't remember but I was just moving into the house it was i think the next day was going to be saturday or something so damn it was friday anyway i thought i was going to go for the flower show i didn't go because yo had a fever the next day because of i think i have the flu i'm just like with all the covid vaccine i've taken mine should not be coming down with the flu anymore but anyway i do have it i have a cough to get my hemi coughing from time to time but I think the fever is broken. I feel a little bit better. Um, yeah, so new look, you guys. A girl is back to being natural. Okay, not technically. The hair is natural. <laughs> not intentionally. It's not like I wanted to be natural. It's just that I haven't relaxed my hair in the last, well, five, six months. The last time I relaxed my hair was December and... I just haven't come around to relaxing it or going back to my pixie cut because you guys remember that i said my hair i just needed it to survive the last time that essio Gene tried to relax it herself and um, that ended up being a disaster where my hair started falling off and yeah i just wanted the hair to have some strength and i remember the last time that my hair was strong was when it was really natural Apparently, when I relaxed it myself, I must have damaged it or something. I'm still moisturizing, but in the last month and a half, I haven't really been taking care of my hair. Again, because I was really sick and I didn't have the energy to do all of that. But now I'm back. I've ordered all the products from Mega Growth because I think Mega Growth products is really good for my hair and Jamaican castor oil this is one of them this came to be i don't know which one this is but i'm kind of mad at amazon because i ordered i placed the other wednesday today is tuesday tomorrow is going to make it a full week and i haven't gotten my delivery and this weekend in short from thursday we're having the queen's jubilee so everything's going to be closed until june 6th so i'm just a little bit mad because my hair is so dry right now like it's ridiculous but i'm hoping at least this is the leave-in conditioner because this is like the secret sauce of having luscious soft hair and it just moisturizes a lot so i'm going to open this now and yeah i'll apply that to my hair i just washed it this morning so it definitely needs some moisture um what else minus that i do want to relax the hair i just don't know what i want to do exactly when i relax it so i had two options in mind first option was to relax it go back to my pixie cut because i thought that was cute i know where to do it because i've done it before the second option was just to relax it and do like a sewing like you know how we do back in the day now with premium two and all yeah I've been seeing people do it and I feel like that would be easier to maintain. But then again, I don't know how long this this baby is. Like right now it's like compressed because I use my hand to press it down a bit. And to be honest, I've lost all my length 
sort of because the relaxed ends have just like broken off it's just all natural it's just a few at the top here that is that still has that um relaxed bit which i feel is weak here and you should just essentially chop it off so i don't know guys i finally finished editing part one of the paris vlog can I hear a clap for essay? I finally did it, guys. I finally did it. Um, I just, I'm just like, you know what? This week will not pass me by. I'm gonna drop that Paris vlog because it's like, it's just like a chip on my shoulder. It's just really stressing me out. Every time I open my phone, I'm like, essay, you're sitting on content. Speaking of content, guys, see, this is me shamelessly begging right now. I've lost my viewership and I don't blame you guys because a baby girl has been inconsistent but it's not easy please I'm really begging you guys please if you know anybody that might enjoy my content at this point I know my people that are loyal you guys are the real OGs love you don't worry when I get my first paycheck we we'll do giveaway um please 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 I'm begging you like share this content like it comment like I need you people to show me some love because I'm running out of well. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. I'm running out of motivation. I'm just like, what is the point? Like, what is the point? It's really, really hard being a content creator. I've been doing this for almost two years now and I still don't have a thousand followers or a thousand subscribers. I haven't hit the 4,000 watch hours. Can you imagine? like i'm just like what do you guys want from me what do you want from me i watch my vlogs and i think they're really interesting i like my sit down videos i know i haven't done a lot of sit down chit chat videos um let me know in the comment section what you would like me to talk about pertaining life in london the reason why i don't even do those chit chat videos is because i know that some of my viewers are in nigeria and i don't know what you will find useful learning about london you get what i mean so yeah um speaking of weddings i feel like i just want to just you guys this morning anyway oh good guys i picked ashwe b i really love the ashwe b that i picked for my friends hey anyway i feel like that's like the nicest ashwe b i've picked this whole time and there's ashwe b for family there's ashwe b for friends then there's the one that moms are going to wear um that one my mom is going to sort it out i don't even know what she what the moms are picking um but the actually for friends ah uh, uh, even me that's bread actually want to wear it i've told my mom to keep a piece for me because i'm gonna sew it up and i'm gonna wear it when i come back thing coming soon is prep for the court wedding court wedding is gonna be here in london so i'm happy about that i don't want to go and do it in ikoi then five years later do now tell me that is invalid i ain't about that life so um there's kind of like a process in doing your court wedding here when i go through the process i'm going to let you guys know we haven't gotten an official date yet but there's something called giving notice where you notice the council where you live that you want to get married and then you have to go and submit your documentation and after that you have like 30 days after before you can actually do the court wedding and stuff but our giving notice day is is in june i think it's after the holidays obi knows the actual date um but i think it's like first second week of june so i'm excited about that once i'm doing the process like once we start the process i'll let you guys know just in case any of you are in the abroad or in the london and you're getting married soon we're going to talk about it um i'm also thinking maybe i should do a sit down video and talk about the whole wedding planning process but to be honest i really need to like sit down sit down and actually think through it and think of the things that i want to talk about because i feel like i'm not i'm not exact i don't think i'm in a position to start giving advice about wedding planning so to speak when my wedding hasn't even happened and i don't know what's is good or bad but at least i can share some of the ideas or my thoughts right now i think anyway i had to leave you i need to go make breakfast um the girl needs to eat and after eating it's time to get to work all right guys i'll chat to you guys later 
Girl, I take the hate and eat that shit for breakfast. Yeah, I like my eggs with a side of mac shit. And yeah, talk, 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 give me up the coffee. Talk, 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 fuel up my body. Yes, I got an appetite for shit that fill me up inside.